So I wanted to get into uh, a pretty common um, kind of confusing part of this whole storage uh, conversation. And that is the difference between a server and storage. Um, you know, in a nutshell, a server is just a computer that is able to serve multiple users on a network. And storage is a place to put files. So obviously a server can have storage built into it so that you have a storage server. Um, you know, so there is, it's different, but it's often combined. Sometimes though, a server has nothing to do with storage. It just has the minimum amount of storage needed to, you know, save it, its documents and files needed for operation. And it does a task. But when we're talking about shared storage or uh, network attached storage, that kind of thing, this is a storage server. That said, not every storage device is a server. Some of them, uh, they're often called JBODs, which stands for just a bunch of disks, is just storage. There's no real brain to it. It's not a smart um, you know, entity. So, uh, and it's also not connected to a network. So that's a big part of where the server combines, um, you know, that computer aspect. It's able to be on a network, connect multiple users and, um, you know, be able to integrate that storage. We're talking about, you know, hard drives, you know, traditional spinning disks or SSDs. Those are all elements of storage. They got the new uh, NVMEs, M.2 drives, all of that's coming along. But the fact is the drives are connected to storage. They're in the storage element. Sometimes there is a storage element inside of a server. Sometimes that storage is just on its own. So that's really the basic difference between a server and storage. Hope this helps.